we I'm gonna give you the a quick review on the rules of the final that we're about to go and see and watch so there each team is gonna perform five dives one for each group of dives so a forward dive a backward a reverse a, an inward and a twister doesn't matter doesn't matter the order that but they must compete all five groups the first two dives are going to be required dives and the degree of difficulty is set at 2.0 while the remaining three dives are optional dives and uh, teams can use whatever dive they want and use the actual degree of difficulty of that dive after each dive there are nine judges which are presented right now on deck who will uh, give their awards to each team the first four judges are taking care of judging the execution of the two divers individually and the remaining five judges are going to score the synchronization so execution number one and two the two judges for execution one and two are going to look only at one diver on the left Springboard. The other two for execution are going to look at the dive of the other diver. And the remaining five synchro judges are going to score ex exclusively the synchronization of the dive. Here we have Grace and James up on the board right now, ready for their first dive, a back dive pike. They were second last year in this event. So they are one of the teams. Rebrin is one of the teams that is for certain looking for a medal, and maybe a gold medal here today. Very nicely done. The synchronization is nearly perfect. Uh, we saw a good timing. The arm sw swim is well synchronized. They're well aligned in the water and get, get, both get good entries. So, eight across the board for judges, 48 points for team Great Britain. A good way to start a final. They seem happy with what, they, what they've done. And here we have uh, Alexandru and Amelie from Romania both from Bucharest they're both at their first ever European senior competition a front dive pike event. the dive is very well executed in synchro uh, they get perfect timing of the board the hurdle the steps they took on the board before pressing off the board weren't perfect uh, but overall a good dive especially considering this is their first ever dive at Europeans so good way good good way to start their European senior career sevens and seven and a half 43 80 And we see on the board now Team Italy, Chiara Pellacani and Matteo Santoro. They were third last year in this particular event. And uh, two years ago in Budapest, 2021, they actually won it. So another team aiming for the podium. Nicely done. Another great synchro also on this dive. It is, it is easier on these first two round of dives, on the voluntary dives, to get uh, well synchronized because there's less less things going on during the dive, less somersault and twists. And they do a great job here. Seven and a half and eight from the judges for the couple of Italian divers. 
not that they are going to put themselves right behind Team Great Britain in second place. And Team Spain is on the board now. Carlos Camacho and Rocio Velasquez. They got third place last night here in Sheshov in the team event. It was the first medal for Spain since 2010. In the team event last night, they performed together the inward two and a half pike on the three meter springboard, which are gonna they're gonna repeat today. And it is a good dive, a little bit off rhythm. We saw Rocio on the on the left side now of the screen. We can see how she gets in the water a tiny bit before her teammate. But overall, it is a good dive. Just could have fixed that rhythm a tiny bit off the board to get complete vertical at the same time in the water. But seven and a half, eight for them. Gives them 45 total points. Team Norway now. Carolina Kupka and Isaac Borslane. I was talking with their coach earlier. Carolina took a year off after high school and is ready to go to the United States for college in Texas uh, in a month. So starting a new career there. They do a good job with the hurdle, not perfectly timed. You see how Isaac was standing a little bit back on the board. And uh, they managed to get back in the water we see it here completely together, but in the air was not completely perfect. The synchronization, so sevens from the judges, 42.60 for them. Now we have Team Ukraine. Anna Pismenska and Chirilo Azarov, the oldest and the youngest divers in this event. When Anna started competing internationally at Junior Europeans and World Championship and the first international meetings, Cirilo wasn't even born. They're together here, they do a good job. Not very strong off the board. You see Tamara Goncharova, their coach. They do a good job getting in the water together, but we can see here how Anna is complete to the right side of the board, she jumps right and is a little bit tilted and twisted getting in the water judges do notice that and give her six and a half six for her individual dive but other than that eight and seven and a half total of 45 points there right there with team Spain in third place from Sweden now team the outsiders from last year they barely missed the podium in this event. They were fourth in Rome last year. Emilia Nilsson Grip and Elias Pedersen performing a front dive pike. Good synchro. Emilia ended up, look from my position, that she ended up a little bit further away from the board, not that close. Um, probably that might be, we can see it here. She pushes away a little bit, but the timing is good. The move, our movement is in at the exact same time, and also the entries are good. And again, another team that sits there, 4680. They're with Team Italy. Good job. I think all the teams, the same degree of difficulty in these first two uh, uh, required dives. Uh, they are going to end up being very close together after the first two rounds of dives and uh, the real competition competition will start from dive round number three. Irish team now, Jake Passmore and Claire Cryan. is an inward dive pike. Nicely done. 
I really like the way they jumped off the board. The dice were high and well, technically well executed. We see it here, arm movement, almost perfect. A nice entries. Maybe Jake just a little bit, a tiny bit over. That could have been a little bit better, but 46, 20 on their first dive, and they seem to be happy with that. Team Switzerland now. Madeline and Thibaut. doing a back dive pike for Thibaut is the first ever European championship while Madeline has been around for uh, for a few years now in this in the diving at diving at the Europeans they're ready on the board And an okay dive. Uh, we saw we saw them not perfectly aligned in uh, in the water. Madeline was a little bit closer. Jump, she jumped uh, closer to the board. We can see it here from the side. She's a little bit ahead of time and closer to the board. So the judges are gonna notice that. And yeah, exactly. The judges noticed that, and uh, fortunately for them six and a half sevens um, they are in ninth place at the moment at 41 40 next up on the board representing Poland the home team with Andrei Zeszutek and Kaja Szerzek inward dive pike for them it's the first dive of this of their event here Andre is a very experienced diver. Finally having a, a European Championship in front of his home crowd. And that was a good time to dive. Kaya unfortunately lets the, the legs go too far over and uh, Brings up too many splashes in her hand three. So yeah, the judges noticed that 40.80. They probably wanted a better dive to start off their final, but the competition is still long. There's still a lot of diving to watch. They will have time to recover. They are just eight points behind the leaders. Team Great Britain on the board now. Team Germany. Team Germany won last year at, in Rome in this event, but they changed the pair. Um, there used to be in this event Tina Punzel and Lou Massenberg competing. They won last year and they are not here anymore. Tina retired last year after the Euro Rome European Championship. And now they have this new couple. Starting with a back dive pike. Nicely done. Not super strong off the board. The jump is not incredibly high, but is from both of the divers very well timed. Nicely done, technique wise. And only thing Yana is a tiny bit ahead of her teammate getting in the water. We'll see it from these replay but the alignment is perfect they're they're exactly the same distance from the board 45 60 for them and they are now in fifth place we are done with round number one britain is leading with 48 points italy and sweden follow in second and third place Ireland, fourth, Germany, Spain, Ukraine, Romania, Norway, Switzerland, and Poland. Is the ranking, that's the ranking right now. Four more rounds to go. Second round. 
second round now. Team Great Britain is on the board ready for their reverse dive pike. Again, another round where the degree of difficulty is set at 2.0. No matter what dive the divers uh, do. And the synchro again is very good. They did not get, both of them did not get a perfect timing with the springboard, so they made a lot of noise. That means it wasn't, they didn't get the most out of the, of the springboard. But I gotta say that they managed to get a great dive anyways. Seven, seven and a half, couple of eights from the judges. They get to 93 total points with the required dives. We have Team Romania already on the board. Alexandru and Amelie. Same dive as the British. Reverse dive pike. We see Florin, their coach. Florin is not just their coach, but he's also Alexandru's dad. Nice done. Nicely done. Amelie ends up being a, a, a bit further away from the board she jumps out too much on the takeoff but other than that they do a fairly good job getting on their head and getting good lineups see we can see from this view how she's a little bit away but 85-80 with the first two rounds for Team Romania See Team Italy now on the board, ready again, another reverse dive pike. You see on screen we saw Matteo's parents. And another dive where the alignment in the water, getting in the water is not perfect. Chiara ends up going way too far away compared to Matteo. The timing was good. They, the, all the movements are perfectly synchronized, but she does jump too far away from the board. 42, 60, not a huge mistake, but here, Team Italy, I gotta say, they lost at least, at least three to five points because of that little mistake. Team Spain now, Rocio and Carlos. Another and another reverse dive pike. Good job in this case, and this is something I notice and judges might notice too. In this case, both divers jump quite away from the board and not very high, but since they both did it, it, it synchronized synchronize wise doesn't bother as much. Thing with this dive is that they did not move their arms at the same time, they were a little off, but not in the distance. So 41 40, 86 40 total points after two runs for Team Spain sitting in third place right now. And we have Team Norway on the board. Isaac and Caroline. Isaac is uh, mainly a platform diver, still uh, competing uh, at the junior level. And he's here doing the one meter, the platform, and this event. Nicely done. Nicely done. A very high jump for from both of the Norwegian divers. Good timing. Carolina is slightly ahead of time and lower than her teammate, but overall a good dive, 44-40, 87 points for them. See here is good, how they got in the water, nice entries. 
As I said, 87 total points after two runs for Team Norway. Team Ukraine now. Chirilo and Anna. Front forward one and a half somersault pike. Uh, that's a, that's a good dive overall, but uh, the circle arm from Anna doesn't get all the way up. She, she does all the movements very well in the air and still gets a good dive, but on the hurdle did not look as sharp as she could do. 44 point, 44 40, 89.40 total. They are right there with Team Italy in second place at the moment waiting for the remaining five teams to die Team Sweden now Emilia and Elias reverse dive pike oh this is a great dive this very well executed, both individually and in synchro. Their coach were shaking their heads, but I gotta say, yeah, other than uh, Elias being a little bit higher, other than that, it looked great to me. And the judges agree with me. Eights and seven and a half, a total of 46.80, and they get in front of everyone right now. First place for Team Sweden. Next up, Claire and Jake are doing another reverse dive pipe. See the crowd from Ireland cheering for them. mistake on the hurdle for Jake but he recovered and they still got a good synchro out of it uh, we'll see hopefully on the replay how the slow motion uh, here we didn't see it but Jake was all the way to the left of the board and he still managed to get enough height to go in perfect synchro with player 90.60 total points they sit in third place right now. They could be the outsiders here with Team Sweden for the medals. Team Sweden now. Madeline and Thibaut. Reverse dive pike. We see a lot of teams competing the reverse dive pike in the required dives. Because it is uh, sometimes tricky, the reverse rotations in general. So instead of using uh, a harder dive for the reverses, they use the reverse dive, which is easier to control compared to the optional reverse two and a half, which some teams are going to compete here today, but not many. It was uh, well executed, not strong, but both divers off the board. Uh, Novish dive for them, not as great as other teams we've seen before, but still uh, no huge mistakes. 82-20 for Team Switzerland, right now in ninth place. There is Andre and Kaya on the board ready. One more. Reverse dive after these, also Team uh, Germany later. Right after this dive, they're going to do a reverse dive. So we have two more to watch. And I got to say, this is a good dive. I like the way they stayed together in a perfect synchronization throughout the whole dive. Uh, we saw how here Andre does not push his with all his strength, he's a really strong diver. So in order to be in perfect synchro with Kaya, they look definitely happy about it. Very good job, seven and a halves from the judges. 
And Team Poland now are at 8460 in ninth place. Last dive for round two. Team Germany. And also the last reverse dive we see today. Jana and Alex on the board, ready to go. See Jana counting to start the dive. And this is okay. Not, not perfect the way they went to get in a pike position. As soon as they got off the board, we see here how Jana is ahead of time and gets in the water much earlier than her teammate. They could have done better, just like the Italians. They might have lost a few points here compared to what they compared to what they hope hope for. 89 points for them total. Uh, 87 points total for them. We see the rankings after the first two required dives. We have Sweden in front of everyone, right ahead of Great Britain, Ireland, and all the others. All the way down to Team Switzerland at 82-20. But this is now is the time where things get even more interesting. We got the optional dive starting now up on the board. Grace and James ready for their front two and a half somersault full twist. Three three point oh degree of difficulty. And you can see how much more stuff is going on during this dive. Very good. We see the British teammates cheering for them. Not very well timed off, off the board, on the hurdle and off the board. But then in the air, they managed to get back at the same time in a pike position and in the water. Grace is a tiny bit further away from the board. She jumped out a little bit more. But sevens from the judges, 64-80 on this dive for them. Good, good start of the optional dives. The young team of Romania now on the board. Alex and Amelie. Inward two and a half somersault tuck. A very young team from Romania. Still uh, have to work on their list. They have a, a list that it is much easier than the other teams. But still a long time for them to practice and get harder dives in their list. Florin. Avaziloe happy clapping for his divers. Uh, an inward two and a half somersault well executed. Uh, Amelie is uh, quite short in the entry. While Alex does a good job lining it up correctly and getting a good rip. So six, six and a half sevens from the judges. They sit at 140.88 points right now. Team Italy now, Team Italy now showing us a front two and a half somersault full twist, the same as the British divers Grace and James did two dives ago. And this dive is amazing. Now they do not struggle, especially Chiara did not struggle on the board during the hurdle just like she did before on the reverse dive we see them landing on the board exactly at the same time arms up a good push off the board and a good lineup completely together highest scoring dive of the day puts them back at back right behind team great britain at 156.90 this is a very well executed dive for the divers from Rome Rocio Velasquez 
And uh, Carlos Camacho, the divers from the Madrid team Real Canoe, doing a forward three and a half somersault pike. And it is a good job. Good job. In these dives, the optional dives, it gets very tricky both for the for the woman because they have to give all the strength they have, all the women, in doing these hard pike dives. But also tricky for the men, which usually pushes with holy strength. And in this case, in order to be in perfect synchro with the, with the female diver, they have to make the same dive with less strength off the push of the board. So six and a half for Team Spain. We saw both divers bending their knees in the pike position, which is not allowed. And that's why... Even though the dive was overall okay, the judges deducted a few points. The, in the, the judges that uh, scored the individual dive. And let's move on to Team Norway. Reverse two and a half somersault tuck. Good. Good job by Isaac. He gets a very good entry in the water. Got to say, starting from the hurdle, they did not get a perfect timing. See, Isaac took off earlier than Curling, and they're spinning at different speed. So, different speed, and both come out at different times. So, uh, judges notice that for sure. Still, they still manage to get a good dive overall. 56-28 for them. They are in fourth place at the moment. And now Team Ukraine, Chirlo and Anna. They're, they're going to do a back two and a half somersault pike. Oh, wow. Well, very well executed. Perfect entries from both Ukrainian divers. They just ripped their dives. Amazingly, the top part, Cyril, is ahead of time in the rotation, but the way they came out and got the entries is nearly perfect. Seven and a half from the judges. Team Ukraine gets at 156 points in third place. They are right behind Team Great Britain and Italy. Three teams are within less than two points after three dives. No surprise there. These three three teams are the ones that are aiming for sure for a medal. And here is the first team, first outsiders, Team Sweden. They were leading after the first two dives. They're going to show us a back two and a half somersault pike. Same dive as the Ukrainians. And Elias ends up going too far over. The timing was okay. The timing was good. We see it here off the board at the same time. Same rotation. But while Emilia leaves the dive a tiny bit short, Elias goes too far over. We see it from this view. How he Elias' legs just keep on going. So five and a half, six for individual scores and seven, six and a half for synchro. Total of 151.20 and they are now in fourth place. Team Ireland front two and a half somersault full twist. Claire and Jake. Good hurdle, and Jake is ahead of time. They recover very well, but getting off the hurdle, coming down on the board, we see here how Jake again struggles a little bit, but then jumps higher, so he manages to get back on track and uh, in perfect timing getting in the water with Claire. But desynchronization judges notice how they took off different ways and different speeds six and a half and a seven from the judges 59 40 
they get at 150 points even in fifth place. Team Switzerland now, the ninth team for the third round of dives. Inward two and a half somersault pike. First of all, the divers have to count or at least give signals to understand where but when both divers need to start moving their ankles on the board. And then they got to focus on their individual technique and jump. Team Switzerland does a good job, but not fantastic. Um, we saw how Medellin was way ahead of time in the rotation. And uh, her teammate, Thibaut, was uh, quite short getting in the water. So five and a half sixes for them. 54 total points in this dive, 136.20. Team Poland now, Andre and Kaya are on the board for their third dive, front three and a half summers of Pike. Three point one degree of difficulty. The divers that are gonna compete the front three and a half somersault pike. There are a few and that is the hardest dive in this competition with a three point one degree of difficulty. Let's see how Team Poland does. Good dive, both divers straight up and down in the entry. Uh, that's the main goal for a diver is get vertical and try to get the cleanest entry possible uh, unfortunately for them we see in the replay how Andre is much much higher and uh, Kaya uh, is a little bit short in the entry so five and a half no actually five and six and a half from the other ju synchro judges under 42 26 team Poland right now is in eighth place with the last team up our 11th team in the third round is Team Germany with Alexander and Jana. They have big shoes to fill considering their former teammates Lou and Tina won last year this event. Might be a little bit of pressure on them. Let's see how they do their first optional dive. Climbing off the board is good, not extremely high, the boat divers just, when they are jumping they go and reach for that pack position very early so that makes the dive not get as high as possible, but still good entries and uh, solid 61-20 points for them on this dive, 148-20. They are trailing behind a tiny bit compared to the top three teams. We have the rankings after three round of dives. Great Britain, Italy and Ukraine are leading. And there's a, quite a gap already between them and Switzerland, Ireland and Germany. And I would add also Spain as the outsiders. But as of right now, the race for gold between three teams and three teams only Great Britain, Italy and Ukraine let's keep on going with the competition though because you know in diving anything can happen James and Grace on the board ready for their second option their fourth dive overall from three and a half somersault pike And it was a great dive by James, but I gotta say, you might have noticed already, Grace Reed ends up quite short at the very end. 
she's lower than her teammate and when grabbing on her uh, grabbing her arms to get in the in the water she's quite short still in a pike position so the judges for her individual uh awards they noticed so four and a half five for her sevens for james six and a half in synchro 58 59 mm, might be might be considered quite a mistake if they want to reach goal today alexandro and amelie now on the board back two and a half somersault tuck 2.8 degree of difficulty Good. Again, another good dive for such a young, for such young divers. Um, still, both still junior divers, and uh, they managed to get as vertical as possible. Amelie is quite lower than her teammate, and does not manage to get her hands completely uh, all the way behind her, her head to line up correctly and get a perfect rip, but. Five and a half and six and a half for them. 50.40, 191.28 points for them. Matteo and Chiara now ready on the board. Same dives, same dive as the British team before them. Front three and a half somersault pike. Great Britain and Italy have exactly the same list in this exact same order. Good way for us to compare them. And they are always together throughout the whole dive. This is almost perfection, in my opinion. It was beautiful to see on screen how they were always, always together. Chiara is slightly lower than Matteo from the cam camera live. We did not notice that, but here from the front camera in the slow motion, it was easy to notice. Even though she was lower, the sink was very good. Seven, seven and a half. Total of 67.89 on this dive. And Team Italy takes the lead. Eight points ahead of uh, Team Great Britain right now. We have Team Spain now. They want to do better than the round before. They want to do as good as last night. When they did the inward in the team event and they actually do a good job the timing is good it's not as clean as possible in the entry but overall a good job they will uh, I have think they're gonna move up in the rankings with this dive 59 uh, 59 points for them with this front two and a half summers of full twist yeah 59 40 there are 205 points right now in third place waiting for the other teams to dive they are right there behind uh, 11 points behind team great britain probably 11 points is quite a gap if they want to reach the medal Let's see. Let's move on to Team Norway. Caroline and Isaac. Front two and a half somersault pike full twist again. Another team that does this dive in this round. Good uh, overall, not excellent. Starting from the hurdle, they were off rhythm. We see it here. They come out at different speed and in different uh, time. And Carolina gets in the water quite ahead of her teammate. Probably too much time ahead and uh, the judges are going to award them a total of 53.10 points total of 196.38 and they are right now behind uh, behind team uh, Norway uh, team Spain excuse me team Ukraine now in third place before this dive 
one. It's gonna have some soft foot twist again. Another great entry for both divers, but I gotta say, didn't look like in the air, in the movements, they were perfectly together. And we see again Anna showing us a, a not so perfect circle arm on the board. They managed to get in the water together and get clean entries, but it was not as good as uh, Team Italy and uh, also the one we saw in the previous round by Team Great Britain. Even though this tiny mistake, at, they sit at 220 points, four points behind Team Italy and four points ahead of Team Great Britain. Team Sweden now, also for them, a front two and a half somersault full twist. Emilia and Elias. And I gotta say, Emilia did a great job recovering from a hurdle that seemed to me... Yeah, we see it here. She was in the corner of the board, still gets as high as possible, perfectly timed in the entry with her teammate. This is a great front two and a half somersault, full twist, and puts Team Sweden at 216.90 points ahead of Team Great Britain. Keep an eye on Team Sweden finishing later in the next round with an inward two and a half somersault pike. So no hurdle, less struggle to get at the same time in the water. Will be interesting the fight for bronze between Great Britain and Sweden. They will have the same exact dive. Now we have Team Ireland now. Back to and a half, Somersault Tuck. They lose um, a little bit of uh, degree of difficulty compared to the other teams. The main, the, the big teams compete dives between, uh, the, compete dives of uh, 3.0 degree of difficulty and the front and a half, Somersault Pike 3.1. So if you have a 2.8, you, you lose some points there and but they do a good job they, we see them spinning at the same speed kick high and good and get good lineups uh, could have done a better job Jake especially getting a better entry but 208.80 points for Team Ireland right now they are in fifth place Okay, I was checking the results. We'll, we still have to wait for Team Germany in three dives. But as of right now, there's Italy, Ukraine, Sweden, and Great Britain competing for medals. And then there's a gap behind them. We have Team Switzerland, another front two and a half somersault full twist. And again, uh, again, it's not not a, a wrong dive there's nothing wrong with it except that since it's a synchro competition they do not get perfect timing you see how uh, Thibaut was um, already straight to twist ready to twist while Madeline was still spinning in the in the somersault judges deduct a few points because of that um, they the divers in the synchro events they one, they try to show a unique figure while jumping, spinning, twisting, and getting in the water. The judges sitting next to the springboards and judging want to see a unique figure doing all the movements. And in this case, for teams which are, that did not happen. Home team of Poland, Andrei and Kaya, are ready for their fourth dive back. Two and a half somersault pike. They were ninth after three dives. And the dive is, uh, is good uh, all the way until the, the entry was, uh, was fairly good. I liked it. Kaya is lower and, and lower than Andre, but the most, the, the biggest thing that judges notice on this dive 
are these flashes that do not get good entries. So five and a half sixes for them. They still hug and uh, we can see how they seem happy about that. It's their first competition in synchro together on three meter. They sit in eighth place right now at 196 points. Team Germany now. Team Germany at this point needs uh, 70 points, so eight to be in third place. They need 7.7 .7 average score to get in third place. The front two and a half somersault full twist. That is very well executed. They will uh, get back closer to the top teams with this dive. See here, same somersault speed, same twist, and, and very good timing and entries in the water. They do get very close. They're in the run. They're in the hunt for a medal tonight. 213.90 total points before the last round of dives. And we are ready to see the rankings before the last round of dive. It is going to show on screen right now. Pelacani and Santoro, Team Italy at 224 in front of uh, Ukraine, Sweden, Great Britain and Germany. All these teams are for sure able to get a medal. Let's see, even though Ukraine and Sweden are a tiny bit ahead, and also Italy is ahead of uh, the others, anything could happen. Great Britain and Germany still have a chance to get on the podium. Let's see how Great Britain does. They were just a bit more than half a point behind Team Sweden. Inward, two and a half somersault pike for Grace and James. And it is well executed. Very good. We see Tony Halley, their coach, screaming, <laughs> very excited. We see how they were spinning at the same speed, in the same position. Grace could have gotten a better entry, but it is a high-scoring dive, 67.50 points for Team Great Britain. Very good job. They set the, the requirement for the coming up teams. Team Romania mathematically out of the hunt for a medal they still have to perform their back one and a half somersault one and a half twist so I can tell you that next up is Team Italy they will need 59 points to 59 points to get ahead of uh, of Team Great Britain while we saw Team R uh, Romania finishing up their competition with uh, an easier dive but well executed. Again, Alexandru jumps quite higher than her teammate but they finish with, uh, with a good score for them. With, uh, obviously the total score since the judges awards are multiplied by the DD not going to be higher because of the lower DD on this dive, but 239.52 for Team Romania. Good job at their first, their first experience at the European Championship. And now, let's see one of the teams aiming for gold. Team Italy, Chiara Pellacani and Matteo Santoro inward. Two and a half somersault pike. Team Italy needs uh, an average of six six and a half sevens more or less from the judges to get ahead of Team Great Britain and they get perfect entries uh, the rotation the somersaulting was not perfectly timed but 
the entries and the individual dives were nearly perfect. We see Chiara was uh, lower than Matteo. Matteo is a very strong diver. We saw, though, also how good the entry was. 66-60 for them. We see the Italian crowd cheering for their teammates. And a smile on Matteo. Yeah, 66-60, 291-39 for them. And they get uh, they, they make gap between them and uh, and Team Great Britain. Now Team Spain in work two and a half summers of Pike also for them. This, this is by far their best dive. Same dive that they competed in uh, in the team event last night. Again, very well executed. Only thing I can say about it is uh, it could have been uh, sharper. Both of them uh, have the tendency of uh, in the pipe dive to bend their knees a little bit. Judges see that, deduct a few points, but still seven, six and a half, seven, two sixty-six, fifty-two. And they are in third place right now. I was checking the scores from last year. And uh, Lou Matzenberg and Sina Punzel, Team Germany, last year they won with 294 points. Now Italy at the moment is sitting at 291 and they're leading. So around the same score. Now we have Team Norway on the board. Your last dive is a back two and a half somersault pike. Good push off the board. This is the first time Team Norway in the optional dive gets off the board at the correct time, both together and uh, they do a good job with it. Unfortunately, Caroline Kuka ends up a bit, a bit short compared to her teammate. So the scores aren't gonna be very high. So yeah, six and five, five for Caroline. Total of 247, 62. Team Norway at the moment is in fourth place. Here we have on the board ready to go Anna and Chirilo, Anna Pismenksa and Chirilo Azaro ready for their last dive, a reverse two and a half somersault pike. They were in second place before this round of dives with four points advantage on Team Great Britain. That is a huge mistake. That is a huge mistake. They, they will not get a medal. I can tell you already. I'm certain about that. We saw Anna way too far in on the board. We saw it here. She pulls back with her shoulders too much, completely bent her knees and gets almost flat on her stomach. That was a risky dive. I told you before, that's why many teams compete the reverse dive in synchro in the required dives. That's the exact reason we saw that there. It's a risky dive. If you struggle with the hurdle, it's very hard, especially for the lady to get all the way vertical. Anna struggled there, and uh, they have to say bye to the medals. And uh, they might be their coach. They are checking the scores. Team Sweden has to wait. See, and these moments when things like these happen, we see Emilia. Yeah, okay, we, here we have the scores for Team Ukraine. Uh, one for Anna, six for Cirilo, threes and one and a half in synchro total of just 26.10 points. The lowest scoring dive of the day. 
they are in fifth place at the moment. Now, hopefully this little break did not push too much pressure on Team Sweden. That is now, with this huge mistake by Ukraine, they are definitely looking for a medal. And to get ahead of Spain, they need 50 points. Spain is sitting in third place at the moment. They need 50 points, so five and a half, six more or less, average. And to get ahead of Team Great Britain, they need seven and a half. Oh, what a good dive. I don't know if they're getting straight seven and a half. Can't tell you that, but the dive was well executed. If they don't get straight seven and a half, they get really close to that score. Uh, both vertical, great M3s. And yeah, almost, almost, but not enough. We see their coach very happy with the execution. 280 to 60, just a point and a half behind Team Great Britain. And now they have to wait for the other teams coming, especially for Team Germany. That was just three points behind them. Yeah, they're not sure if they're going to get a medal, Team Sweden. Now let's see how the Irish team finishes. They have a front three and a half somersault pike. And again, Jake struggles again for the third time today with the hurdle. And this was a huge mistake on the hurdle, even though he recovered very well. He was very fast, getting back on the board and arms up, throw his arms to get uh, all the way around the three and a half summers. But we saw in this slow motion how he was completely off freedom in the summers so with his teammate, still manages to get straight up and down and fairly good in the entry but five and a half from the judges 51 15 on this dive and they are in fifth place right now and as of right now the only team with a real chance of getting on the podium is team germany so we won't know the outcome of this competition until the very last dive now Team Switzerland, Madeleine and Thibaut. This new project for Team Switzerland, I was talking with their coach before, Pavel Rosenberg. It's the first event ever for them together. And I gotta say that they did a great job. They did a fairly good job uh, considering uh, how young Thibaut is. Uh, not even 20 years old and uh, even with this uh, we saw Madeline did a great job recovering from a bad hurdle all the way to the right of the board and jumped completely right this is their lowest scoring dive 40 points 40 points for them at 232 they still still happy with their performance and Team Poland now, last dive for Team Poland, Andre and Kaya performing a front two and a half somersault full twist. Team Poland now is that they were sitting at 196 and the bronze medal is too far away from them, for them. Let's see, they would need straight tens in order to get a medal, but they do a great job, not straight tens, but probably their best optional dive, best dive of the day for Andre and Kaya. Kaya is a little bit lower than Andre, still gets vertical and good entries for both divers. They will close... Uh, Probably around six or seven plays, I'd say. Yeah, sevens is their best dive, as I said before. 257 there right now in sixth place. And most likely 
will fall behind Germany though, so they'll move down to seventh place. Here we have Team Germany now. Team Germany performing a forward three and a half somersault pike. Looking to get all the way up to 282.60 points. They need 69 points. A very good dive. That's what they need for a medal. Let's see how they do. And it is. They both do a great dive. I'm not sure. It is going to be close. It's going to be close. I'm not going to say anything before we have the final results. But they were they had a good freedom. Ayana uh, was quite lower than her teammate. Unfortunately for her, they both got good entry. And we have these scores. They seem happy on screen. Let's see, big smiles for them. And they fall short, unfortunately for them. They end up being fourth with 279. Three points behind Team Sweden that gets a medal at, at Europeans. We have the final rankings for these three meter synchronized mixed springboard final. Pellacani Santoro from Italy win the European Championship again after Budapest 2021. In second place, Team Great Britain with James Idley and Grace Reed. Third place for Sweden with Emilia Nilsson Grip and Elias Pedersen. The presentation, um, the introduction of the um, okay, yeah, the medal will be presented now uh, by good Anton, and the ma the mascots will be given to the divers by Marco Troll. Here he is, the bronze medalist, uh, Sweden. Team Sweden. After they got a bronze medal, uh, I mean, a fourth place last year, excuse me about that, they were shy, less than a point shy of the bronze medal last year in Rome 2022. They finally got their bronze medal here. Very well deserved. They dove uh, splendid, splendidly. Emilia Ninsel, Garab, and Elias Pedersen. They did a good job. They finished very strong with their last dive and uh, secured a bronze medal ahead of Germany by more than three points. Silver medalist with a total of 283.89 points is Team Great Britain. Grace Reed and James Ifley from Edinburgh. They couldn't get all the way to gold because of a tiny mistake on their fourth dive but still did good enough to get ahead of Sweden and secure their silver medal and they do seem very happy about that gold medalists and, and of the third gold medalists for the second time in their career at European Championship is team Italy with Matteo Santoro and Chiara Pellacani. Two hundred ninety-one point thirty-nine points for the couple of divers from the MRS Sport team of Rome.
and in Italian fashion we see some uh, tears there, tears of joy. And now the crowd will stand for the Italian national anthem. see some excited Italians here in the pool of treasure. This is the end of the mixed synchronized 3 meter springboard event. It was a great final.